Why are you so loud? Hard drive. Ah, yes. All right, so this is a motherboard and CPU and maybe RAM. I think it's RAM too. Uh, that I bought an offer up. They don't have the same return policy as eBay does or PayPal, uh, which if you buy stuff from a hardware swap, uh, you're protected by PayPal, and you're protected for like six months. OfferUp has a pretty short uh, protection policy. Like you have two days or something from when it's delivered to check it out and to file a refund. I need to make sure that this thing has no issues because I don't want to get ripped off. But uh, if we take a look at the box so far, it came a little bit beat up, but I'm hoping there's enough cushion inside. Uh, it's for this not to be an issue, and I'm gonna cover up the address on top here. I think there's gonna be other boxes inside, like the motherboard box and stuff, so I'm not too worried. I mean, this was only like 40 bucks for 8 gigs of RAM, which is already worth around 20. Um, and then the motherboard and CPU, so those are like, what, 10 bucks each? Uh, so I don't see why someone would try to rip you off for such a little, about, um, a little amount of money. I don't think that's worth scamming over. So we got packaging, uh, these bags, which I'll probably save and reuse. Aww, okay. So there's the motherboard box. Uh, oh wow, and the box is coming open right here too, on the side. But, all right, so let's take a look at what's inside here. Wow, this thing is heavy. Okay, mm, so I'm a little bit worried now, but this is the motherboard wrapped up in a bag. And the last layer at the bottom of the box is just one thin layer of bag. You can see here, just a thin layer of bag. So there wasn't that much cushion. So the motherboard was pretty close to the bottom of the box, meaning that if this box was dropped like, like this at all during transit, which it probably was. Look at me. You're worthless. It would be pretty hard impact on the bottom of the board. I don't believe this wrapping is anti-static uh, at all. It was just making bare contact with the motherboard and all the components. But now that I don't have as much confidence in this thing uh, due to how it's packed, uh, I'm gonna test it and make sure it works to see if I need to file a claim or not. Hard drive there. Where's that dang power supply? I know you're in here. Nope, not down here. Here we go. Good old Seasonic. All right. Got the RAM, got the hard drive. There we go. Let's see what this does. Oh, did I even turn this on? Okay, so let's see what this is. And I forgot what it was because I'm not buying it for the specs. I just needed an older AMD motherboard and CPU for one of the videos I have coming up. Yeah, so this was the listing on OfferUp. I will likely just show a better screenshot of it. Yeah, eight gigabytes of DDR3 at 20 bucks, motherboard at 10 bucks, CPU at 10 bucks, not too bad. Uh, especially since it's low cost enough for my next video. The thing I'm gonna do with it is uh, it might damage the parts. So definitely wanna make sure it's like older stuff and cheaper low end stuff that's probably on its way out. So we got eight gigabytes of RAM. That's the processor. He said it was. I just need to get Cinebench to open up. It scored 274 CB. Uh, it finished the test. So I think I'm good to go with these parts. So I'm gonna leave this person a good review on offer up now. And uh, I'm actually really liking the prices that people are selling things 
on offer up for and I like that they added that shipping option which I think it was sometime last year because eBay takes so big of fees that people sometimes have to mark their items up just to take care of the fees that they have to pay as sellers but with this offer up thing I think they only take mm, like a one or two percent fee uh, which is very little let go I haven't had as much luck with Mercari it's just to me it's been garbage uh, they keep on showing me stuff that has already sold, but every time I choose the filter to hide the stuff that was sold, it always comes back if I uh, change some parameters or refresh the page, so it's annoying. But offer up so far out of those uh, websites have been my go-to for used parts. Um, but yeah, this is... I don't even know if this is going to be a video. If I do decide to make a video, uh, it is because I was able to edit it down to a somewhat watchable format. Though it's kind of a boring video, it's just an unboxing and testing of parts. I'm not sure how many people would actually enjoy it. But either way, if this does become a video, thank you as always for watching. If you have any questions uh, about any of this or like the whole offer up thing, because I've bought a handful of items from them now, uh, let me know. Other than that, let me know if you found anything else. If you all have used offer up and if you found anything, or if you had luck with Let Go or Mercari, uh, let me know too. I kind of want to get an idea of what other people are using to buy. Uh, thanks as always for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.